Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building this Indiana Eastern High Hood GP38-2. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, the first step is to take a dark oak stair out to be the coupler. Underneath that, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate and then dark oak fence on either side of the coupler here. Then we're going to take a polished black stone stair on the next block down and get five of them coming across the rails on the bottom. On the next layer up, a polished black stone block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then we'll come around in front of it in the middle and make a three block tall T-shaped pattern. We put an end rod down on bottom above each rail. And then up here, three more upside down polished black stone stairs. In front of this, a five by three of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the rails. Next, we're gonna take out an oak wood slab to be our stairs. And in this gap in the middle here, we're gonna put three slabs coming up on the bottom hip boxes. Same thing on this other side. Then we'll work on our wheels. So take out a block of netherite, come around in front of this, skip one block forward. Get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna take stone brick stairs upside down facing this way here. Then in front of it, a row of five right side up stairs. Then we're going to turn around and we need five right side up stairs facing the opposite way this time. Then we'll come in front of it, skip one block forward and get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then in this gap here, we need to get upside down stairs facing this way. So that's what the stair pattern should look like. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also into the ends of the wheels down on this end here. Then on this second layer up, we're going to fill in the top metal three with polished blackstone coming down the length of the truck here. We're going to come out two rows past where the fence gates are. come underneath the end of this here and we're going to put three stone brick blocks across the bottom. Then coming off that bottom we're going to put upside down outward facing stone brick stairs in a row that's nine blocks long in total. Then three blocks across here and another row of upside down outward facing stone brick stairs on this side to complete the bottom of the fuel tank pier. Then we'll switch back to polished black stone and continue filling this top middle three in down the length of the fuel tank. For now we'll stop at the end of the fuel tank here. Now we'll do our next set of wheels here. So take out a block of netherite. Skip one block forward from the fuel tank and get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then upside down stone brick stairs, five wide right here. Then in front of that, five wide of right side up stone brick stairs. Then turn around and five right side up stairs facing this way this time. Then we'll take out a block of netherite, skip one block forward from this, netherite on each rail with an end rod axle, then spin around and upside down stairs facing this way in this gap here. Then we'll go ahead and open our dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, 
it also opened up into the ends of the wheels on this side here. Then we'll go back to a polished black stone block and continue filling the top middle three in down the length of this truck. We'll stop above where the fence gates are. In front of it, we're going to make a five by three of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the rails. In front of that, a T-shaped pattern in the middle with an end rod down on bottom above each rail. In front of that, five polished black stone stairs right side up on bottom. Above that, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side. Then three upside down stairs on the top middle. Then three oak slabs coming up in this gap here to be the stairs. And same thing on the other side. Then we'll take out a dark oak stair for our coupler. Get it stacked up here. Delete the one we use for placement. Put a dark oak fence gate under it. Then we'll come around on top on the third layer up here and fill it in end to end with polished blackstone. Now we're going to come on the side of the truck here, and in front of the wheels we put a hopper. Same thing over here. Then we'll go ahead and do the wheels on this side. Hoppers in front of these wheels. Hoppers in front of these wheels here. Then, on top of the truck, we're going to put two stone brick slabs on either side and two iron trap doors in the middle. Same thing here. come over here, two slaps on each end here, two trap doors in the middle, and one more corner to go here. Do the same thing over here. Now we're going to come down to the back of the fuel tank here where we left this two block gap and on the side right here stack two string and same thing on this side right here stack two string. Come to the front of the fuel tank we put a player head on each side, then a sideways crimson sign, behind that a crimson button. Then we're going to take out anvils for our air tanks and run it down the length of the fuel tank until it's sticking out over that string we placed. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to take out yellow concrete and on this top outside edge we're going to go end to end with yellow concrete on both sides. Now we're going to come on top of the front on the third block in in the middle and we're going to take out yellow concrete. We're going to make a column of five yellow concrete. Then five here five on the other side and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the back so on the middle on the third block in five yellow concrete then five here and five here then we'll come back and work on the front here we're gonna take out lime concrete and on this side a column of five two wide here, we're going to put a 2x2, two two, then 2 on the left, 2 coming across the top so we leave space for a door. Then here, we're going to put 6 lime shulker boxes. Same thing on this side here, except on this side we're going to extend it back by another 2. Then we're going to go back to lime concrete and we need to get four right here and same thing on the other side. Four lime concrete across here. Then a lime concrete in each corner of the cab here. Yellow concrete in the middle for the locomotive number. Then lime concrete in the corners again and cyan stained glass panes for the windows. And actually I made a slight mistake here. The whole top layer of this front needs to be black wool. 
So knock out all these top blocks and replace them with black wool. We can go ahead and fill in the middle too. And we'll bring this middle three of black wool to the back of the cab here to fill in the roof. Then we're gonna put polished black stone stairs facing outward above the windows on each side like this. Then we'll come down to the back and fix that. The top layer back here needs to be black wool as well. Sorry about that. Next, we're gonna come up behind the cab with lime concrete. And on these inside edges, we're gonna fill both sides too high, end to end. Then up in this corner, by the engineer's side, put one lime concrete above those shulker boxes so it makes stairs. Behind the cab, on the conductor side, we're gonna put a prismarine wall down there. Then we'll come back over to the engineer side and take out our lime concrete. Skip a block back, make a column of two. And we'll fill that in all the way to the end. And we'll also fill in the entire other side too high. Then on top behind the cab, we'll put three black wool across here. Then on each side, we're gonna put three polished basalt with the pattern going vertical. Fill in the middle with black wool. Then we're going to come down to the back here. We're going to take out cobbled deep slate, put one in the middle, and then we're going to extend it forward another five blocks. And then actually, we're going to knock out these five lime concretes on the layer below it. And put cobbled deep slate in the middle underneath there. Then we'll fill in all this side with iron bars. We'll do the same thing over here. So go ahead and knock out these five lime concretes and fill all the rest of the side of this section with iron bars. Then we're gonna go back to black wool and we'll fill in the top middle three of the roof going from front to back to complete the top of the locomotive here. Come on top of the back with a polished black stone slab, make a plus shape here, and another one for fans. Put oak trap doors in the middle. Then on the side, we're gonna put a backward facing upside down polished black stone stair, one block in front of that vent section. Then, deep slate tile stairs, three of them facing outward on each side. Then an outward facing polished black stone, and then a forward facing one. Same thing here, outward facing one, forward facing one. Then we'll come on top of this in the middle of the deep slate tile section, make another plus shape for a fan. Then we go ahead and knock out the middle, putting cobbled deep slate and an oak trap door above it. Then we're gonna put a flower pot here and here for the exhausts. In front of this, two rows of three polished black stone slabs and in front of that, a three by three of dark oak trap doors. Then we're gonna come down to the rear end. On the middle, on the top yellow block, put a glow item frame, then hang a bell above it. Come up to the front, and we'll also put a glow item frame on the same place up here. Then on the top middle, we're gonna put a polished black stone button here. On this right hand side, we're gonna open back to back dark oak fence gates to be the horn, one block back from the front. Over here, two black candles. Then skip one block back behind that and open levers into each other for an antenna, just like that. Then we'll come down here on the front porch, knock out that block and replace it with black wool. Come to the back and we'll do the same thing back here. Knock out this one and replace it with black wool. 
Then we'll come up on the conductor side with the lime stained glass panes. And we're going to put a row of four right here. And then another row, another, and another. That's for the blower. Then come directly behind this blower on the lime concrete in the middle. And we're going to knock out a row of seven. Then we'll put three yellow concrete on each side to represent the lettering and a lime concrete in the middle. We don't have enough room to actually spell out the words Indiana Eastern with banners. So this is gonna represent where it says that. So we'll do the same thing over here, making sure I have it lined up correctly here. So it's gonna be in the middle underneath that first slab on top. And we're gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna end up being three yellow concrete on each end with a lime concrete in the middle. Now we'll come up here, put black carpet on these stairs. You'll have to crouch to put it on the shulker box. Then bring black carpet all down the walkway on this side. And around here, a T-shape on the back porch. Then we'll bring it all the way up this side. Then we'll come up to the front here. We'll have to crouch to put it on the shulker boxes here. Then around this, a T-shape on the front, back here, and crouch and put them on the shulker boxes here. Then we're gonna take a birch sign and on the side on the top yellow block we're gonna put a birch sign with our locomotive number which for this one is 5255 same thing on the other side here didn't have the number typed in correct there so I had to fix it then we're gonna take a ladder and run it up the left hand side of the nose then we'll come work back here. We're gonna do the same thing. A birch sign with 5255 on the side on the top yellow block on each side. Then we'll run a ladder up the left hand side here. Next, we're gonna do all of our handrails. So go ahead and take out an oak fence. And starting right here on the back, we're going to come up by four. Here we're going to go up three, over one, and up two. Same thing here, up three, over one, up two. Then we come up by four right here. Then two dark oak on each of these insides. Then we'll come work in front of this here. Connect up dark oak here and start bringing it forward. When we get in front of the stair here, we have to come up one over one, up one over two. Come up on front, we'll go back to oak. So right here, we're gonna come up by four then back one, up one, and back until it connects. Then right here, up three, over one, up two. Same thing here, up three, over one, and up two. Then two dark oak on each of the insides here. Then here we're gonna come up four, over one, up one and over until it connects. Then we're gonna take out dark oak again, connect it up at the back here, and we'll run it straight up this side. Just keep it coming. 
all the way till it gets right there. And I just realized a mistake. Our stairs don't go high enough right here, so take out that wool. Go ahead and put in lime concrete and a black carpet on top of it here. Then we're gonna have to knock out these two fences. Come here, raise it up by one, and then come over two. Sorry about that. Then we're gonna take out a warp door, put one here in this gap, and then come around behind the cab on this side, and a door right there. Then we'll swing back to the front, and we're gonna take out a glow item frame, we're going to put one on each of these fences with glowstone in them to be ditch lights. Then we're going to come down and do the same thing on the back. So come around here, glow item frame on these two fences with glowstone for rear ditch lights. Next, we're going to come on top with black carpet here. And we're going to start filling in around these fans on the back and around the end with our black carpet. Then we're going to bring it forward and basically put it anywhere we haven't built anything. We're going to come around this fan and out to the sides on top of this dynamic brake area. Just keep bringing it around and forward. Then we'll come up here and we'll put it up here anywhere that we have not built something. Now we're going to make some banners. So come into a loom with a lime banner and yellow dye. We're going to put three yellow horizontal stripes, switch to lime dye, and make a lime triangle on the bottom corner. Then back to yellow dye, and we're basically making the exact same thing, except this time we're putting the lime triangle on the other side. Then we're gonna go to a lime banner cyan dye, top half cyan, and then a lime border around it. We put one on the front of the cab on each side like this to be the windows, and same thing on the back of the cab here and here. Then we're gonna come in front of the door up here on the lime concrete, down one from the top of the lime. And we're gonna put our banner with the pattern going this way. So on this side, we're gonna do the one with the pattern going the opposite way. Then we're gonna come back here and put that one right there and the opposite one on this other side. Then we have to make some more banners. So we're gonna come back to our loom. So come back in your loom, this time with a white banner and red dye. And we're gonna put three red horizontal stripes on it. Then switch to a blue dye and make the top half blue. Then another white banner with red dye and three red horizontal stripes. Then go to a yellow banner and black dye and put a black horizontal stripe in the middle. Then we'll come place these. This yellow one is for our headlights. Put one in that item frame and turn it sideways. So it looks like there's two light bulbs. Same thing on the back here. Put one in this item frame, turn it sideways. Then on this side, one block in front of this banner, we put the stripe one and the one with blue because there's an American flag back here. Then we'll put it on the other side here. So skip one forward from this banner this one and then the stripes now we'll do the interior so come on into the cab here we're gonna take smooth sandstone slabs and start filling in the floor at the same level of the door here and in front of here and up into that nose we'll put an end portal in the nose for a toilet and a door right there then two slabs right here for a control stand and put some levers on it up here, a glow item frame with a compass. Turn around, seats on each side, whatever stair color you'd like. Then a blast furnace in this black middle and glowstone to light it up. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Indiana Eastern 
iHUD GP38-2. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.